Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today we're gonna to talk about the K-Supreme Plus Smart Coffee Maker made by Keurig. We're gonna talk about this Brew ID. So this Brew ID technology that reads at the top of the K-Cup, I've been very intrigued by. I thought I had it figured out, but I don't, I don't think I do. So this was just released in 2021. It's a smart, it talks to your phone. Um, but one of the main things is this Brew. It recognizes your K-Cup and gives you customized settings. So let's, I'll show you how that works. So we're, when you put a cake up in there and you close the lid, the brew ID starts to work and it's gonna tell me, okay, I know what that cake up is and here's the recommended brew settings. That's a Green Mountain coffee. It tells me eight ounces, balanced and warmer would be the best settings for that cake up. So how did it know what cake up I put in there? I thought I had it figured out. I thought it was the little barcode. I thought it was this little QR code right here. See that little QR code? Well, I did some tests. I put some tape over the QR code and it, it still knew what cake up it was. So my best guess now is it, it knows what this whole cake up looks like. So it's looking at the whole picture of the cake up. So not all cake ups have that little QR code. So I don't think looking for that QR code is gonna be the, the catch-all. We're not really gonna know which ones work, like this, this pumpkin spice cappuccino mix, it doesn't have a QR code on it. And this Simply Nature one, it doesn't have one on it. But I have noticed with some, it doesn't recognize the K-Cup, so it doesn't recognize all K-Cups yet. Okay, so first let's look, let's see where the brew ID is coming from. We have a little, right here right by those needles be careful right there there's like a little camera or something I'm gonna try to show you see see that little camera and when you close the lid if we watch if we close it slowly it actually turns like a little flash on let's see if we can see it see there's like a little flash that comes on so it lights up the cake up and it must take a picture of it somehow Okay, so I've got my dark, I've got that covered. Let's put it in. Let's see how the brew ID, if it senses it. No pod detected, ooh, not good. So it didn't detect it that time. Mm. So let's put that in. Brew ID is gonna work. Green Mountain, okay. Let's take it out. Okay, so let's try this Magic Mountain. Let's try this. I had that little cover on it. Green Mountain Coffee. So it did sense what it was, even with that covered. I thought for sure. Well, no, it did come off, didn't it? Okay, hold on. Okay, so let's do it one more time. Let's put that so that maybe it's not getting punctured. Okay, the brew ID was able to, to tell what it was. Okay, and the QR code was still covered. So it's not the QR code, it's not that little, that little box. I thought for sure it was gonna be that little box, but it must be looking at the entire K cup. So let's put let's put this one in without one. So when it doesn't recognize it, it just says classic brew. So it didn't it didn't recognize this this picture of this one. So just a little play video to kind of see how that brew ID was working. I, I did read where uh, Keurig, I think, is going to be learning more K-Cups as people use the machines. So I don't know this for a fact, but I'm thinking since this is connected, I've got mine connected to Wi-Fi. I got my little Wi-Fi light on. I'm thinking it's going to send some information to Keurig and let them kind of know what's being brewed out there maybe. I know it, it tells Keurig what I'm brewing, 
because then they help you reorder what they can tell you. Oh, I see you've been using so many uh, dark magics and it's a time to reorder. So that they are sending some information back up to Keurig. But as far as the brew ID, it sounded like the wording I saw was it's going to be a kind of a work in progress and they're going to be adding more all the time. So I, I hope this video helps. I was just really intrigued by this, this brew ID and I just thought for sure it was that little, that little box because yeah, I was wondering why is that little box on there? But it, it senses the whole cake up. So check out my live stream. We'll be talking about this on my live stream Saturday morning, Coffee with Dad. Uh, it's on this YouTube channel, Just the Dad Videos. We'll be talking all about the Keurig coffee makers and we'll be doing a comparison with the other two K Supremes this, this Saturday. So that'll be fun. We've got the open uh, chat room. People talk. You can ask questions. Other people can ask. So we've been having a lot of fun with it. So I'll put a link to this in my show description notes. I am an Amazon uh, affiliate. If you do click on those links, I do get a little bit of money from that. Um, the products don't cost you anymore, but it does help support me. I buy all my own products. I don't have anything shipped to me for free. So thanks, everybody, for your support. And if you could, please like and subscribe.